hi so i've been asked a lot of times to make a video on how a myocardial bridge looks like so a myocardial bridge is a segment of the coronary artery that is embedded within the myocardium and when the myocardium contracts or the cardiac muscle contracts uh, it compresses the coronary artery also during the systole so this is a angiogram now this patient had cv chest pain patient also has left bundle branch block now please understand that a normal coronary artery does not uh, rule out coronary artery disease or a heart disease so this was the first view this is the rio caudal view so our first glimpse of a myocardium uh, let us concentrate here even though the most common uh, place to see the myocardial bridge is the led uh, the mid led but here in this case we are getting it in the distal led rio caudal view is not the view to see but when you are doing an angiogram every view is important and it can give you uh, a hint of what is going to come up ahead so as you can see that when there is systole a small compression is there of the coronary artery so we move on to the next view the lcx is uh, almost normal this is the lao portal view now just see here just look at the distal led we're going to focus here the distal led oh yes so this portion kindly focus when there is systole you can see that there is a compression and when the systole has ended uh, let me just focus it here again so it returns back to its normal stage so this is a myocardial bridge you see here very clearly very clearly you can see it here you see it move on to the next view and you can see about 40 to 50% compression this is the dominant lcx and here you just concentrate over here it is getting compressed this here it does get compressed and then gets released yes just see here this is the caliber this is the myocardial bridge uh, a lot of times i've been asked this question that uh, uh, you know can a plaque or you know atherosclerosis develop in myocardial bridge yes an atherosclerosis can develop in a myocardial bridge especially in the proximal or the distal edge area because this is where the blood stagnation or the cholesterol deposit can happen also this area the distal area might also you know be prone to a plaque rupture uh, if there is atherosclerosis the best treatment for uh, myocardial bridge well, if it is uh, symptomatic or it is causing more than 70% of uh, you know the compression uh, systolic compression then one can think about the treatment Uh, i am not very fond of uh, nitrates in this case because i've seen a lot of times that if there is a side branch even though there is no side branch in this case uh, a large side branch i mean to say that is more than 2.5 mm so if there is a large side branch 
that is adjacent to the myocardial bridge uh, what it can do is uh, you know uh, the nitrate can uh, cause a steel phenomena and direct the blood to the side branch instead of the myocardial bridge so uh, if there is a large side branch i would uh, ask to avoid uh, nitrate but uh, if there is no side branch then you can give nitrates uh, if there is a slow flow timmy 2 flow you can give uh, 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 what is it nicorandil is a very very good uh, choice in this case and uh, not in this case but you know in patients who have uh, by cardiac bridge with slow flow the other thing is uh, that uh, uh, you know stents uh, you can put stent not in this case but you know in myocardial bridge that are causing more than 70% of systolic compression you can put in stents but uh, you know there is a, always a risk of stent failure or stent crushing um, in the long run and they might not be very successful reimplantation of the coronary artery or uh, you know uh, unroofing of the coronary artery might be a better way to deal with the myocardial bridge thank you